Hi, I'm Tony, and welcome to my channel, Watch Time LA. Hello folks, and welcome back to Watch Time LA. If you're a new visitor, please don't forget to like and subscribe, if in fact you like. This video is about the new 40 millimeter Timex Marlin. I'm not gonna have you look at this plain box for a very long time, but this is the giant box. I can't, it's hard to explain at this camera view, but it's, it's an enormous box. It's about uh, 18 inches by 18 inches by about four inches deep, maybe bigger than that. And it started out exactly 50 miles from where I live. And it took 12 days to get here. Four or five days at time extra processing. And they brought it to a USPS shipping facility, which I understand from the USPS, that it's kind of like their third rate, low tier, slow as you possibly go shipping system. That's where it started out, and it stayed there for days. But anyway, let's break into this box. I'm excited to see what we have. Take out my trusty $4 Walmart special here. There's just so much, there's so much box. It's, it's pretty funny. I could have fit at least 10 watches in here. There's my packing slip. Oh boy, look at that. All right, now I understand. Sorry about all that. So, here is the box. So I kind of understand now what's going on. It's a very, very wide box. And it's certainly not what Timexes usually come in. They come in usually some cheap plastic box. I'm going to open up this sleeve and now we have a kind of nice box for a Timex actually. All cardboard, it's not texture or anything. Uh, but before I get it, before I open this box, I just want to let you know Timex did come out with a Marlin, which is what this is called, a 34 millimeter version, I think a year or two ago. It's a, it's a hand wound only watch. This, you know, I have an old Timex, probably 34, 35 millimeter watch that I got, I don't know how long ago. I swore to myself that, and I think I said it in one of my videos, if Timex ever came out with a decent sized automatic watch, I would buy it. And true to my word, as soon as I heard about it, I think it was on Instagram. I looked, I bought, and 12 days later, this is what I got. We're all looking at it together for the first time. It's a very heavy box, by the way. And look at that, a box. So you open up that box. Now here is some sort of, yes, it's pleather. Uh, it's definitely not real leather. I had to smell it first. Definitely has a plasticky smell, but it has a very nice texture on it. So now we're on to, we had the sleeve. Well, we had the giant box. We had the sleeve. Uh, we had the outer box, and now we have this really nice, un, very un -Timex like heavy, maybe even some sort of wood inside their box. Listen to that. Okay, you ready? Boom. And there it is. What does it say here? Our iconic 1960s Marlin gets an, an aesthetic refresh. Ticking inside is a tried and true 21 joule automatic movement created a contemporary timepiece that honors our watchmaking history. Let's hope that's true. Okay, this actually is a piece of paper that fell out. I thought it was part of the top of the box. Anyway, there you go. And inside the box, or the little watch coffin as I like to call it, this, there was only one of them in there, is our watch. I don't see, okay, there's a little compartment here. We'll open up that. And in the little compartment is the user information. 
Looks like it's in several different languages. It's quite short, the English version. Let's put this guy back in. Let's close the box, which it has, which is hinged. So it, it's hinged. Definitely not your standard Timex box. Let's look at the watch now. Okay, it first impression, very nice looking. V much lighter than I expected, to be honest with you. I mean, it almost this case almost feels plastic. If that's the case, this thing's going back a lot quicker than it got here. Um, I, I gotta pause this for a minute and make sure that's not the case. Okay, so after checking the website real quick, it absolutely says it's a stainless steel watch case, but I have to tell you, just from the feel of it, hold on one second. Just from the feel of it and the sound of it, in fact, let me do it this way. So here's me tapping on the plastic. Here's me tapping on the case. So it looks like it is an extremely thin watch case. And there again, it says, it says stainless steel. All right, well, let's take off our little protectors. Take a look at it. It definitely has a very high domed, I believe this is a mineral glass crystal. Very high dome. And it does have a display back. Now the question is, what are we really looking at here? I don't know yet. What does it say? The Marlin Collection. And then it says, Movement, oh, it's upside down, sorry. Movement, Japan, strap from China, stainless steel, water resistant to 30 meters. And as you can see, it's already, it's already ticking. So I'm gonna guess this is some sort of Seiko movement. The band, hold on, definitely leather from the smell, but it also picks up a lot of, um, what do you call it? The pleather smell from the watch box. Profile, extremely bold, and it is extremely highly polished. I like the way the lugs are right there. Like, does it hold true to its heritage? I don't know, maybe. Band's a little bit thin, but it's very, 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 very pliable. I like that. So we're probably not gonna get a lot of bends and breaks in this anytime soon. That's a good thing. I'm gonna pop this on the wrist. Remember, this is gonna be a two-part review. First part will be me doing the unboxing, and the second part will be me doing the full review. All right, so I'm putting it on here. These keepers are very, very thin very thin so I'm a little worried about that but it's very comfortable what do you guys think 40 millimeters on my seven and a quarter to seven three eighth wrist depending on what I ate today I mean it's definitely classy looking but I don't know my first impression is it worth 250 bucks I'm feeling a little bit wanting. What do you guys think? Well, before I sh turn this video down, let me uh, pull out the stem on this thing. All right, well, just the date. Okay, the date goes very quickly and has a very positive feel. It snaps right in there. So that's good. Although I can hear it, and <laughs> I can't hear anything. And then pulling this out. So watch the minute in hand as I do this and let go. 
So it has a little backward tension in both directions. I don't know if that's how it's made or what, but you will see it, it is not hackable. The watch hands keep moving. So my guess is that if this is a Seiko movement, it is their very low end Seiko movement. I don't know. Like I said, it leaves me a little bit wanting and we will find out more when I do, after I wear it for a day or two and do my thorough in-depth review. Until then, guys, please don't forget, like, subscribe. I'll be back in the next week or so with a complete m review with really micro shots. I'm gonna open this peppy up and we're gonna look inside and we're gonna see um, if this thing is worth 250 bucks. If it's just for the nostalgia, if it's because it's a Timex that finally came out with an automatic watch, or if it's actually worth the money. See you soon.